na naman at nandito na naman tayo sa Lifestyle on Wheels. Opo, kung hindi pa po kayo subscribe, subscribe na po kayo and click that bell icon. At syempre, kung hindi nyo po alam, mayroon po aming TV show every 8pm except Saturdays nga lang po sa Pinoy Extreme Channel 106 Signal TV. Okay, uh, maraming salamat ha. Ngayon po mayroon kaming napagandang uh, review para sa inyo. Huwag po kayong alis. Okay guys, para sa topic natin ngayon, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon is folding bikes o usapang bisikleta tayo mga kaibigan. Uh, ito yung Aerowick Space at saka yung Aerowick Rover. Siyempre, uh, dahil sa pandemya, kailangan natin ng personal mobility kaya ito po ang mga bisikleta. Hindi lang po tayo dadalhin from point A to point B magiging healthier pa ang ating commute. Okay guys, pero before that, no, before na ipakita sa inyo yung review, we would like to say thank to, thanks pala sa aming pong partners. Imprint Customs for our uniform, syempre, at Yamaha Motors Philippines. Uh, nandito rin syempre ang uh, Silvestre Motorcycle Products. Ito po yung mga langis, yan, mga tarsilan, syempre, andyan yan, no? magandang produkto yan, ha? Filipino brand pero international quality. At ang hindi na makakalimutan, ang GoPro Philippines. Thank you sa mga cameras for sponsoring us. Okay guys? Okay. Okay nga alis. Babalik kami. natin sa Aerowick Space at Aerowick Rover ng Aerowick. Okay? Gawa daw ng Foxster to, itong tong folding bikes na to. Okay? Ang una natin pag-uusapan dito, syempre, yung parts niya and yung specifications. No? Okay? Tingnan natin. I was told that the heroic bicycles are brought here in the Philippines by the same company na nagdala dito ng Foxster at Mountain Peak Bicycles. Ito ang heroic rover folding bike. Ang kanyang frame is made of aluminum at okay naman ang pagkaka-welding nito. Sa feel and looks mukhang matibay naman. Halos ang dami nagsishare ng ganitong design ng frame kasi ganito rin ang nasa trinks at iba pang brand na may aero and ergonomic design. Yung curves and dimensions are just right to fit most riders' size and frame. Good para sa mga baguan magbike. Just below the bottle cage provision located ang folding lock na mukhang pang matagalan at matibay. To be precise, 6061 aluminum alloy light material na ang construction nito. Magaang sa 14.5 kilos. Aluminum na rin ang seat post na may strong locking clamp mechanism. Kaya nito accommodate ang tall riders around 5, 8 to 6 feet. Ang bigat ay kaya naman sa... 220 pounds 33.9 inches na ang seat post nito na heroic ang brand black out na rin ang kulay giving more sophistication sa looks niya heroic na rin ang saddle na may buta sa gitna giving more comfortable feel sa butt area that can withstand 22 nm of force Nakakroved out na ang lock pin at matibay ang folding clamp mechanism nito. Aluminum na ang stem and can be adjusted comfortably sa preference na gusto mo. Rigid and sturdy siya kahit sa mga lubak na hindi maaalog ang kanyang stem. 580mm naman ang size ng adjustable aluminum handlebars nito. Pwede mo kabitan ng light, cellphone holder at pati na rin action cam. Every material used sa stem is quality and ang mga locking mechanism nito ay dependable for long-term use. The handlebar grips are securely screwed kaya maganda sa grip ng kamay mo in times you need to push the bike harder. The front fork niya is rigid at gawa sa bakal. Okay naman ang absorption nito sa kalye, pwedeng pwede na. At kung sakaling madaan sa basang kalye, may kasama na rin itong mud guards. Although hindi pa rin ito enough to block all the splashes of water. Better than nothing, di ba? Isa pang magandang feature nito ay ang magnets located sa harap at likod. Mas secure ito kapag nakafold na. 
ang Crank Arm ay aluminum na heroic brand na may 52 teeth chain ring at plastic chain ring guard. Meron itong foldable pedals made of aluminum and plastic. Palitan mo na lang ng mas matibay na material o yung time na kailangan na siya talagang palitan. 8-speed microchip brand ang shifter, though not as good as Shimano, maganda naman ang quality nito based sa aming review. Ito ay 13 to 28 threaded cogs na Shimano Turny na pang 7-speed ang derailers, pero compatible naman sa 8-speed configuration nito. Naka-X-Spark hydraulic brakes na ito, more than enough stopping power and very good for its price. 160mm disc brake sa harap, dependable talaga ang performance nung ginamit ko sa ride. Sa likod naman, 160mm disc din, kaya maganda na ito sa emergency braking situation. Ang gulong ay size 20 by 1.75 na may 32 holes aluminum rim sa harap na nakapresto valve na ang pito. Heroic brand ang aluminum gold hubs nito. 20 by 1.75 na rin ang size with 32 holes aluminum rim na rin ang likod. Maganda at kapit sa kalsada. Ito ang overall specification ng Heroic Rover. Ito naman ang Heroic Space Folding Bike. Ang kanyang frame is made of aluminum at okay din ang pagka-welding nito. Parehong quality ito sa Heroic Rover. 6061 na rin ang aluminum alloy light material nito. Ang construction niya maganda. Halos kasing timbang lang nito ang Rover sa 14.5 kilos. It shares the same curves and dimensions with the Heroic Rover na sure to fit most riders. Okay po talaga sa mga taong beginner riders and commuting to work. Pwede rin pang long rides. Located then just below the bottle cage provision ng folding lock. Wala akong nararamdaman na vibrations o langit ngit while riding both bikes. Quality and function is good. 33.9 inches na rin ang seat post nito na heroic brand. Blacked out din ang kulay. Though madali mag scratch ang paint uh, sa kada adjustment mo pero still has that premium feel. Aluminum seat post with the same locking clamp mechanism with the Rover. Minsan bumababa siya pero you just need to tighten the clamp more. The good thing about folding bikes ay kaya nito ma-adjust sa kahit anong height but I recommend this to bikers not more than 6 feet tall. Ang heroic saddle nito ay buo di tulad sa Rover na may buta sa gitna. It is soft and comfortable but mas comfortable yung sa Rover though this can also withstand 22 nm of force. Medyo stiff ito compared sa saddle ng Rover but still comfortable pa rin sa long rides. Naka-black out naman ang lock pin nito but matibay din ang folding clamp mechanism. Aluminum stem na rin na adjustable according sa preference na gusto mo. The same sturdy quality feel. The same material then ang use sa stem nito na tulad ng sa Rover. Both quality from its locking mechanism to the whole stem that can be adjusted easily. 580mm din ang size ng adjustable aluminum handlebar nito. Enough to clamp in lights and stuff. Maganda lagyan ng speedometer computer dito. Tanggalin na lang itong reflector to accommodate more stuff sa handlebar. The same functional ring bell you get for free. Ayos talaga ba? Secured din ang handlebar grips ready for performance riding. The front fork is also rigid and made of steel, also good in absorbing road bumps. At saka may free mud guards na rin sa front. Meron din isa sa likod, still not enough to block all the splashes of water, pero again, it's better than nothing. Meron din itong magnets located sa harap at likod. Good for storing when folded, hindi kakalas. The same heroic brand aluminum crank arm with 52 teeth chain ring with plastic chain ring guard. It also have foldable aluminum pedals with plastic material. I suggest again to have this replaced with a stronger material in time. 9-speed micro shift brand naman ng shifter. Still not a Shimano, pero it's smooth and never ako nagka problema while shifting. Parang shram din ang operation. Puro pababa ang pindot to go to the gears. 
Ito ay 11 by 36 cassette type cogs na microchip 9 speed derailers. Smooth ang transition ng gears nito. And based on my review, wala akong naging problem sa gearing. Walang talon o ingay. Naka X Park hydraulic brakes na rin ito. Exactly the same with the Aerowick Rover. 160mm ang disc brake niya sa harap with the same dependable performance based sa ride review ko. May 160mm disc din sa likod so the brakes here will give you that stopping power confidence. Both bikes have these neatly organized cables to make it more clean looking. Kasama na nga pala ang side stand nito kapag binili mo brand new. A very good addition. Ang gulong ay size 20 by 1.75 na may 32 holes na rin na aluminum rim sa harap. Presto valve na rin ang pito. Sa likod naman ay 20 by 1.75 na rin ang size with 32 holes aluminum rim with the same hubs pero black lang ang color. Same specs sa Eroic Rover. Ito naman po ang overall specification ng Eroic Space. O oh, yun, naganda ng specifications ito. Kano? Kahit na uh, bago lang itong brand na itong Eroic. Uh, andito, syempre, pag-usapan natin naman yung ride feel. Yung ride position, yung saddle comfort, etc. Yung suspension. Yan, ganyan. Okay, with all that said, no? Uh, Pag-usapan natin naman ngayon yung performance niya. Tsaka, ano nga ba ang tingin namin sa bisikletang to? Ang mare-recommend ba namin? Kagandaan dito sa Aerowick Rover is yung kanyang, uh, of course, yung kanyang shifters. Naka-microshift na, pero yung uh, RD niya, is naka Shimano, Shimano turn na 8 speed okay uh, so far, ito lang maganda naman yung kanyang uh, pag shift medyo nasa smooth side naman and very easy kasi parang SRAM ang dati nga ng shifter nitong uh, they call this micro shift medyo maalog po ang aking uh, stick <laughs> Punta nakakabit ang aking 360 degree camera But we'll manage naman Okay Woo! Like it And Maganda ang performance ng kanyang braking Dahil ito ay X-Part na na hydraulic Hydraulic brakes Okay, so naka-disc brakes na po ito Yan, maganda po Okay, since uh, actually we're new in reviewing uh, bicycles because, whoops, <laughs> mostly what we review are cars and motorcycles. But since this is the lifestyle of wheels, we're now here in the bicycling world. Cycling world, okay? Mga pala, wala pala. Wala pala. Wala and please like, share, and subscribe po dito po sa ating pong channel Lifestyle on Wheels Ito po packet po tayo so lalagay ko po siya sa pinakamagaan na pedal Ayan Let's go mga ano to ah, 80 70 degrees Correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> but actually it's easy going up through Eh, tagal na rin ako nagbabike may mountain bike, may road bike but going up this part of our village, dito sa parang ipatasa to Whew. parang mas mahirap compared dito, compared dito sa folding bike ng every week okay right, may rinig na po ba yan ang busina? yan okay so tuloy tuloy lang Okay, nag-adjust po tayo ng ating gear. Very smooth. And actually, upuan po nito. Ah, maganda sa pwet. Malambot po. 
just right. So, talagang when it comes to long riding, long biking, siguradong put nyo. It'll just be okay. Yes. And yung bumps, since this is what you call uh, suspension less bicycle, you no? Maganda naman. Maganda yung trade ng rebound ng katawan mo sa mga uneven roads like yung mga humps and everything. So, hindi siya na. Usually kasi mas mapapagod ka pag ano, maalog o hindi maganda. Alpog. Masyado ka na alog sa bawat ano mo, bisikuleta. Yun. May may tanya po. This is our village. Iyat. In Verdana Homes, here in Pacor. So, dito malapit sa daang sabi, maalit mo nagpa-bike dito. Okay, but I'm reviewing this uh, bike for you. Okay. Actually, honestly, the 8 gears, panalo po. Although, mabibiting ka, dahil 8 gears lang po. Honestly, as compared to the aerobic space, mamaya I will show you. Mas mabilis siya. Dahil 9 speed po yun. Micro shift. RD micro shift. Okay. What else? Okay, again. The brakes are good. The pedals are great. Oh. And of course, the shifters are good. Road shifters and the RD. Can bear the railers. Nice! It's really nice riding this bike. Hmm. See, I found medyo maluk sa and even tong road na to, parang bato-bato ang -bato. style, kasi tiles I don't tile ba, whatever bricks pero hindi ka makakalog ng todo cause you can see naman Woo! I like it shout out to Ian How that made me consider also doing a video for a TV show regarding bicycles Ian How Kung napapanood mo to, uh, okay, if you'll be having a partnership, I can give you your own show on cable TV. Alright! Ika nga niya, mga kapadyak, mga kapotpot. Tayo po mga kaibigan. Panalo! Alright! Ganda! Here we go. Okay. All right. So mano mano hawak po tayo. <laughs> Kasi yung aking uh, mount dito kanina sa ginagamit ko yung Evowick uh, Rover eh nalaglag na <laughs> bumagsak tuloy yung aking uh, GoPro 360 cam. But anyways, all good. All right. Okay, for our uh, review, the right review nitong uh, Aero Space. Woo! Siguro pagkakaiba lang yung upuan Sa yung upuan mas malambot dun sa aerobic rover But this one is okay naman But wow! Mas maganda yung ride feel nito <laughs> Although parehong pareho siya ng body di ba? Pero alam mo nagpapaganda ng ride feel nito Yung kanyang derailers Yes! Itong micro shift panalo Grabe! Mas smooth mas madali shift alright still riding here in our village and actually 9 speed itong uh, micro shift and cassette type na to as compared dun sa rover na uh, threaded type pa siya ito cassette type na so madali mag upgrade if you plan to upgrade no plug and play napakaganda at napaka actually mas matulin talaga siya mas syempre 9 speed pero iba yung palo nito Hmm. I really like this Rebo Wix piece. Wow! For a very affordable bike, folding bike that is, this is alright! Oh, I 
mewah 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 same body okay the suspension of course this there's no suspension in this thing so parang ano siya talaga um, stiff yung suspension so, parang, it's just all right sa talpong mo sa tawan mo and ito na yung pakyat all right wow i'm telling you this is a high climb pero wow napagsalita pa ako usually i can help all right this is good Alam nyo, overall, napakasarap gamitin ng mga folding bikes sa to from Aero Week. Talagang sa price point niya is talagang bang for the buck. Kaya, subukan nyo rin. Hanap tayo, hanap kayo ng magandang Aero Week bicycles. Ah, ito. Hangat ko na lang. <laughs> Nakasita po tayo, mga kaibigan. Ito po ang Aero Week Space. Ganito nga pala ito pe ang mga folding bikes na to from Aero Week. Yon, folded na. Healthy na, convenient pa. At syempre, very affordable. Ang Eroic Rover ay 9K to 10K. Ang Eroic Space naman ay 10K to 11K. Ayun, ayun po ang Eroic Space at saka ang Eroic Rover. Panalo po, di ba? Bang for the buck, yan ang tawag nila dyan, no? Mura, pero kalidad, di ba? Kaya bili na po kayo, marami po niyan sa Kiapo, marami rin po niyan sa online. Tingin-tingin lang po kayo ng Eroic Folding Bikes. At meron din sila mga Eroic uh, Mountain Bikes, okay? Intayin nyo lang, may mga, mga upcoming reviews kami dito. Okay, before we end the show, ako po ulit ay nagpapasalamat po sa, amin pong, uh, sa inyo, sa aming mga manonood. At uh, please continue to support our show. Kung bago kayo, kung nagustuhan niyo po yung video, pakiclick lang po yung subscribe button at yung bell icon. And don't forget, every 8pm except Saturdays, ang aming Lifestyle on Wheels TV show sa Pinoy Extreme Channel 106 sa Signal TV. Okay guys? O yun. Siyempre, uh, we would like also to say thank you pala. Huh? Again, again and again sa aming po mga sponsors. Silvet, uh, Sylvester Motors Philippines, GoPro Philippines for our cameras, our action cameras, imprint custom sa aming pong uniform, at syempre, andyan ang Yamaha Philippines. Ayan, again, ako po si Kajo, at maraming salamat sa susunod po nating pagkikita. See you next time!
guys.